and Umita, me and my teammates Tushar, Vanshika and Ajay, we worked on the project Fake Profile Detection Using Machine Learning under the guidance of Gaurav Singhasar and Dr. Smita Navalman from Banat University. Now, let's understand our project. Uh, we all know that social media has become an important part of our lives. It's a good platform to share information and to interact with people. But as we know that every coin has two sides, so concerns about social media abuse are arising due to acts like social media manipulation. One of the best examples of social media manipulation is to create fake profiles for spamming, phishing, distributing fake data and spreading malware. So, in our project, we trained a neural network and used methods like XGBoost, Adaboost, Random Forest Decision Tree, then SVM and LSTM in order to decide whether the profile is fake or genuine. Our dataset consisted of 3,351 fake profiles and 3,471 genuine profiles. We extracted nine important features from the dataset. After that, we added extra label to each of the profile in the dataset. Label is a Boolean variable. Its value is 1 for fake profile and 0 for genuine profile. Now let's understand the model. So let's begin with our first deep learning model that is neural networks. It is a computational model based upon structure and functions of biological networks. Python 3 is used to implement the model. We made a supervised model that consists of one input layer, three hidden layers and an output layer. So let's have a glance at the architecture and discuss neural networks further. The architecture is as shown on the screen. The input layer takes the features namely friends count, follows count, listed count, status count, etc. The input layer is then further connected to the three hidden layers which in turn are connected to the output layer. The output layer uses the sigmoid activation function and produces a result between 0 and 1. Hello, I am Tushar and I will be talking about the supervised machine learning algorithms that we have used in our project. So the first one is decision tree. Now decision tree is generated using information gain or gain ratio and when we applied decision tree classifier on our data set it gave an accuracy of 99%. The next algorithm that we have used is random forest. Now random forest is a set of uh, decision trees and it aggregates the votes from different decision tree and decides the final class of the object. So in our case it will decide whether the profile is fake or is it genuine. So when we applied random forest classifier on our object it gave an accuracy of 99.3. So it increased by a certain extent. The next technique that we have used in our project is boosting. Now boosting is a sequential process in which subsequent models you know, improve the errors by, from the previous model. So the algorithms that we have used under boosting is XGBoost and AdaBoost. Now XGBoost uh, includes regularization which uh, reduces the overfitting of the model. So uh, XGBoost worked best for our data set. Hello, I am Ajay. I am going to explain LSTM which we use in our project. For LSTM, we have to select sequential data. For this, we modified our data by applying different methods like stack normal test to check null hypothesis. Then we use numpy receive and scalar fit method to transform and receive our data to get sequential input for our LSTM. After applying this method, we create a new data with lookbacks for our model. After training our model for 10 epochs, we get the accuracy of 97%. So finally we conclude our project. Here we detected fake profile on the basis of visible data. XGBoost gave us the maximum accuracy followed by random forest and neural network. There is still further work to be done which will be overcome in near future. Thank you.